loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I present to you the new girl in town, Miss G Shade. Let's give her a round of applause. Welcome, welcome. But I mean, she's not that new. Um, she's new to me. I feel she's new to the Sims community because this is the first time I'm hearing about it. And yeah, this is like also a goodbye letter to Reshade because G Shade treats me better. So, but yeah, today we're gonna be installing G Shade on Sims 2, Sims 3, Sims 4. This is my first tutorial, so please be kind. I'm sorry if I ramble on. And also, if you are new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, hi, how are you? I hope you're having a great day. Okay, so let's start. I'm gonna have timestamps for every game, uh, Sims 2, Sims 3, Sims 4. Uh, we're gonna start off with Sims 2. Um, most of it's gonna be the same up until the settings. So just look for the game you're gonna install it in and just skip to that. Okay, let's start. First, you have to go to G posters. I'll put the link down below. Uh, it's only for Windows and Linux, so I have Windows. So we're gonna go to Windows. I already have it installed. So you just download it. You go to your downloads, open it. Okay, select your language. Okay, I agree. So we're gonna start with Sims 2. So what, the easiest way is to like right click and then look for the Sims, the Sims, um, what's it called? The pathway and put it here and paste it here. And then pick Sims 2 EP9. Okay, and go next. And here you are gonna put 32 bit and direct X 9, 10, 11 games. And for here I put normal, and then these are my other settings. So pause to read them. And I added these presets, but you don't have to. So you're gonna put install. She's reinstalling. Hopefully I don't mess it up. But she's reinstalling and we'll be back when she's done. Okay, she's finally done. She shouldn't take that long. It only took like 40 seconds. Okay, so here you pick your screenshot save location. So you pick whatever you want here. You put finish. If you want to do the visual guide, go ahead and do it. And from there, you could check your G shade presets. Um, I'm gonna make another timestamp about converting the reshade presets to G shade. So right now we're not gonna go over it. So you put your custom ones here, and let's open up the game and I'll show you how it looks. So I really recommend if you're using like any uh, full screen program to make your games full screen, to do it before G shade loads in because if you do it after, you have the possibility of crashing. So yeah, now we're going to wait for it to load and I'll show you the preset. Okay, the preset has loaded. All my mods have loaded. So now here, what you typically will see is um, an, an announcement here to press shift plus F2. So you would go do that. I have changed mine to home already. And what I would do first is go to settings and change my shortcut keys to what I like. So for overlay, I have home. For toggle key, I have end. And then for screenshot key, I have print screen because it makes it easier. Something cool I like about G Shade is that when you take pictures, hold on, let me show you. When you take pictures, it makes a sound. I don't know, I love it. I love the sounds. Let me show you how it looks in game. Let's go to Strange Town. As you can see, beautiful. The The reason I love G Shade more than Reshade now is because with Reshade, my Ma MXAO would never work and my depth of feel wouldn't work either. And I'd be here envying people that got it to work. So now it works for me and I'll show you. Uh, let's pick a family. Who should we go to? All right, we are in. So this is how it looks with Reshade on. Um, excuse the lag. I haven't played Sims in a while. So look at them, how cute. Now this is with the preset I have. And this is without. Can you see the difference? Look. I just, it gives so much life to the game. And I feel like it works smoother because with Reshade I would lag a little bit more. 
but it's like ugh, beautiful. Look at Miss Jenny. Miss Jenny over here flirting with her dad's abductor. I love that. I mean, she's married to him. But anyways, let's look at the landscape. This is how it looks. I love it. I'll let you could turn it off. And the difference. Hello. Hello. I love it. Uh, let me show you how depth of field works, too. Let me, um, you know, be artsy. And put this. And like I said, I'm going to show you how to do the presets in a bit. But not right now. I want to show you this. Okay, so depth of field works. So you would just do this. And look at that. Look at that. <gasps> Tell me that's not so cute. I could have never done that before. I love it. But anyways. Uh, let's turn that off. Let me show you another preset I have. Uh, the one I have currently is Turnip Head by Falky. Let's move on to Sims 3. And okay, so here's where I introduce you the G-Shade control panel, which should install in the first time you run it. So then from here, it's easier to do your installations. So as you can see here, I have these. Uh, you just put add new and you would get, hold on, let me show you, add new. And then here for Sims 3, you're going to go to Program Files, Origin Games, The Sims 3, Game, and Bin. And here you're going to click TS3W. Open. Next. Here is where I was struggling last time. You have to put 32-bit and direct X9. Hucking normal. And these are the settings I kept. I didn't install any presets. And you go install. And you're going to let it do its thing. And you're done okay and then you go next and the same it's the same process as the other one but in a different way like you you install it differently you don't install it from the launcher from the from the <laughs> you don't install it from the thing you download you, you install it through the control panel that's what i'm trying to say so you you put your screenshot location finish uh no then it's done now you go open it ts3w like you normally open it and I'll show you how that looks. Okay, so we are in The Sims 3. And as you can see, it's going to be the same process as Sims 2. But let me show you again. You're going to go here. It's going to show you up here. Um, it's going to show you an option that says press shift F2 to open up this panel. And what you're going to do first is go to settings and change the shortcut keys. I put it as home and for toggle and then print screen for screenshots so then you go back home and you pick your your reshade that you want i'm gonna put slap happy i don't oh my god no we're not gonna put slap happy i don't remember which one i had <laughs> so i guess i'm gonna have to like go through it all right we're in the game and as you can see the g shade is working um here you could turn off any of that stuff you know make it at your own liking add stuff uh, let me close this uh let me show you the reshade how it looks <gasps> i forgot i sorry i forgot i made a second floor but see this is with reshade and this is without with without with without look how it just and it's smoother too because i feel like reshade will lag the game a little bit but i'm in, honestly in love with g-shade <laughs> But yeah, that's all you have to do for Sims 3. Um, the only part I was struggling was with the 32-bit. I kept putting 64. I don't know why. But yeah. And let's move on to Sims 4. For Sims 4, we go to G-Shade Control Panel. And we go to Installations and Add New. Okay. And then we pick our target game, which would be uh ts4 uh hold on it's ts4 64 so copy paste and there so it's gonna be this one ts4 64 uh open we're gonna go next so these are the settings for this one it's gonna be 64 bit direct x9 hooking normal and then the optionals i clicked all of them i didn't add any of the presets 
install let it do its thing click next choose your screenshot save location put finish no so it should be installed now so let's open up and i'll show you the presets there okay sims 4 has loaded and you should see here appear something that says uh, press shift plus F2 to open up the menu, but I have changed it already. So you would go ahead and press shift plus F2. Um, and the first thing I would do is go to settings and then change all the shortcuts like overlay key. I put it as home toggle key. I put it as N key and then the screenshot key will be print screen and then you could look through your your presets right now i have turnip head by falky i'm in love with that preset i might use it for sims 3 honestly so let's go into my 100 baby challenge save and i'll show you guys how the preset looks okay so as you can see i just i love how colorful these are this is what it looks with the g shade on and this is what it looks without so on off on off on off I really love how it looks and honestly it makes the game smoother before we reshade my game would lag a little bit what the hell was that it would lag a little bit but now I just it feels smoother like except that that was my mod ignore that it feels smoother and yeah that's pretty much it let me show you the depth of field that I'm so like wow about because it never worked for me you can focus on him or him or where's Philomena? This little girl. Or <laughs> you could focus on her. It's it's hard for me because I've never had depth of field. I usually do it in Photoshop, but you know what I mean. Okay, so it works now. Um, before I would be like sad about it, and MXAO works too, and, and it's just. <sighs> A beautiful experience i really recommend you to try out g shade it's very nice it's smooth um i feel like it's easier to install too and it gives you less problems um, now we're finally at the conversion part you're gonna open your control panel for g shade and go to tools okay this is what i did because i followed a fierce trades guide for the sims how to install g shade for sims 4 and this is how she did it. Um, so basically, you're gonna make a folder so you could put your reshape presets in. So let's say, let me do one that doesn't have that much. Okay, so you're gonna move these, you copy. I made my folder in my downloads um, folder. So presets to convert, you would put them here. And then you would go to launch converter in your control panel. And look for your or is it your downloads and look for the presets to convert and press OK. And it should convert them. And then these would be the ones you put in your custom presets. So you would open the file location of your game. And here you'd go G Shade presets. And you would put them in custom. So see? You put them in there and then they show up in game next time you load it. Um, and this should be the same thing for every game like Sims 3, Sims 4. They're all going to be in the same, like where the um, program is installed. So yeah, that's pretty much the whole tutorial. I don't think I missed anything. Um, I'll link everything down below. I'll link Fierce Trades um, tutorial. Um, honestly, Sims 2, Sims 3, it was really trial and error because I couldn't make Sims 3 to work, but I finally did. And yeah, so if you enjoyed this content and my tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe. And let me know which is your favorite preset for G-Shade now. Like, are you gonna keep trying it or are you gonna do the switch, the official switch to G-Shade? So yeah, I hope you have a great day and I love you guys. Bye.